want to get away in a beautiful environment to spend some time with God? There is something about taking time away in an environment that stimulates people to listen, rest, talk, and refresh. A retreat experience. Come discover the treasure. I recommend it for the simply because it is it's quiet. There's that sense of, of actually being close to God. I think just in, in that in that setting. Um, it's not to say that that's not the case in other retreat houses, but I think it's uniquely so at El Tesoro. Well, the English translation of the uh, the Spanish words El Tesoro is the treasure. And truly, as I uh, have spent time up here over the years, uh, going through the development and construction process and just simply walking the property and seeing how carefully and well protected uh, the property has been, uh, it is truly a treasure for the Woodland Park area and, in fact, the entire Pikes Peak region and the state of Colorado as well. You know, it's very near the city, actually, but at the same time, very isolated and, and conducive. It's quiet, it's conducive to, to thought and to prayer and to reading, so it combines the best of both worlds. place to uh, have quiet time with the kids. It has, it's spacious enough to do breakouts and um, group events together. So it lends itself to both fun and um, prayerful and re reflection and quiet time. We're fortunate um, to live in a mountain community and uh, we 
do have some nice centers and retreats around, but El Tesoro specifically uh, and purposely was created as a retreat center in a, in a serene, peaceful setting uh, with some natural amenities and um, natural attributes that actually lend itself to the definition of a retreat, number one. Number two, um, uh, El Tesoro, uh, really understand the importance of being part of the community and so uh, the retreat center itself, the organization itself is giving back to the community in different ways. But at the retreat center itself uh, there are meeting facilities, uh, there is a specially designed trail, walking trail, which also incorporates uh, some of the local Indian heritage uh, that was done by a, a forest ranger. And um, the, the setting itself and the views of Pikes Peak are incredible. It's lends to the overall ambiance of what you would like to see in the retreat center. For the community of Woodland Park, it's a tremendous um, economic asset. A lot of visitors come here, specifically come to the retreat. They decide they like the area. They come back. They might come back to this same retreat over and over, as many have. Or they might come back just for day trips to Woodland Park and tour the area. That's a tremendous boon to our local uh, business community. The chapel is um, architecturally uh, reminds me of the uh, Spanish missions of the 1700s in the southwestern United States. It's got a bell tower and it's uh, stucco. And there's been a considerable um, effort expended to to represent the authentic uh, chapel construction and materials that were used at the time. Even though it's uh, a modern building, its uh, appearance is that of something that's much older. Mary Gensel, the founder of El Tesoro, um, and the foundation, in fact, uh, uh, it has been her vision to create a spiritual retreat uh, for um, pretty much any and all. She's not limiting to just one particular group. And her, her hope and her vision is that people would, um, or groups would come there and be fulfilled and be sustained and be rejuvenated and renewed. have the impression that you're in a treehouse that's soaring high above the surrounding forest floor.